I've been dying to speak to you, Brian, about all that's going on, and I think the place to start is where are the big ad agencies, the Sir Martin Sorrell WPP, the publicists, is inner public, where are they in five years? They're still around, but they'll evolve. I, you know, the best uh, description of the agency world is that they are cockroaches, not dinosaurs, right? They will outlast us all and they will evolve, they will find niches and crevices of the industry. Uh, the whole point of them is that they have more entrepreneurial capacity, I would suggest, mm -hmm. than even most companies in Silicon Valley. The number of companies in Silicon Valley who will have employees who will go on to found their own companies, right. I suspect is substantially smaller. What excites you in this drama that my kids and every other kids, they will not watch conventional TV, mm -hmm. Disney's in a panic to move their platform over. What gets you going? Is it YouTube TV? Is that where we are in five years? From a marketer's perspective, it is about experience. And so this is where the Adobe's and the Salesforce's and what Oracle's trying to do as well. Yeah, but what are you going to be consuming? Uh, well, you know, I think there's still going to be a law of consumption of TV. I mean, when the average person's consuming, say, five hours of TV How a day. How will we consume it? I think it'll be anywhere you are, but the vast majority will be inside of the living room. That still is true today, even for younger audiences, right? There's just different packaging, different ways to consume it. It may not be as much ad support as there used to be. Remember, the health of the underlying advertising economy on traditional TV is dependent on a very narrow group of large marketers, and they're taking on a lesser role in the overall economy, right? They're being replaced by direct brands. It's Dollar Shave Club rather than Gillette. Those marketers, generally speaking, that support TV are weaker than they used to be, and that's going to hurt the health of overall TV. It also is hurting the agencies right. that they've generally worked with. But, Brian, does that mean that we're going to see much more consolidation? I think, think there will get be. Bigger? I, yeah, no, I think right. when we're, if we're looking at the agency holding companies for starters, uh, yeah, I think that uh, absolutely one of the big holding companies, I've always thought that Interpublic is the most likely at some point uh, to be consolidated. I mean, you've got a lot of players, remember, between Vivendi, which owns Havas, that is going to be around in some form. WPP is still going to be around in some form. Omnicom probably stays around in some form. Uh, Publicis, who has an investor day in London, I'll be there for that. I think we'll, um, you know, they could go in a lot of different directions too, whether they merge with an IT services firm or they just continue to uh, uh, as they are on their own. When you look at the sellers of advertising, um, you know, you are going to see more consolidation. Whether you look at a Disney, whether you look at uh, Fox uh, going together, and Time Warner will either end up with AT&T or with someone else. So you'll see more consolidation from the sellers of advertising as well.